Hey everyone, royal news this week is Prince Philip, the Queen's husband, passed away at the age of 99, which is a real shame because if he'd lived for another two months and he would have gotten a telegram from the Queen. You know, when it comes to the royal family, I've always been pretty ambivalent. They're certainly better than having President Blair, though. They make for an interesting national soap opera. After all, if it wasn't for the royals, what on earth would we name hospitals, railway lines and drinking establishments after? We can't name all the pubs after coloured lions, after all. Trawling through the acres of press coverage, Prince Philip certainly did lead an interesting life. And for everyone on the left mourning about him spending half a century living a life of idleness, you have to remember that unlike his kids, he actually fought and risked his life for those war medals that he wore on special occasions. He was at the Battle of Crete, the invasion of Sicily. And you compare that to Prince Edward, who decided to drop out of the Marine and organise It's a Royal Knockout. Or Prince Harry, who seemed to be making a decent career for himself as a soldier until he got a bit all confused and wore a German military outfit that one time. Whoops. There's a list of supposed quotes and gas from throughout the years, although actually, they mostly end up painting a pretty good image of someone who was probably quite good fun to have a drink with. I quite like his comment, quote, when a man opens a car door for his wife, it's either a new car or a new wife. And supposedly at the coronation, he made a joke about the Queen getting another new hat that day. Yeah, I also used to occasionally look for the court circular and the Times would be surprised at just how much work he and the wife actually got up to in their retirement, attending charity meetings and spending decades seeing to a never-ending stream of lifeboats, museums, youth centres and so on. You know, if he did dislike Tony Blair as much as they say that he did, you can hardly blame him because after all that money went to upgrade schools and hospitals, it probably meant that he was staring down the barrel of 20 years shaking hands with teaching assistants and hospital cleaners. I wouldn't want that life in my retirement, no matter how much roast swan the wife let me eat. Anyway, now we've got a week of morning, round the clock news coverage, and with any luck, folks might get a day or two off at work, which would be good now that the weather's better than it was when he first got admitted to hospital. And there's also talk about whether or not Harry and Meghan will attend a funeral. Personally speaking, I'd not be surprised if Meghan flies over early with a shovel to help dig the grave. Ah well, the Duke of Dedinburgh, God racist his soul. See you next week. Like these, click subscribe.